night, the hierarchy of the PLP made a stop in Freeport for a mass rally. As Shashina Roll tells us, a party went all out to convince voters that the PLP is the best choice for Grand Bahama at this time. Is the time for the PLP to win the general election and we begin it right here in Grand Bahama? PLP! Scores of vibrant PLP supporters heard from the leader of the Progressive Liberal Party, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, who shared how he plans to revive Grand Bahama's economy if successful on May 7. My government will facilitate the relocation of the residents of Hunters and surrounding areas. Duty-free concessions under the Family Island Development Act will be extended to East and West Grand Bahama. We will work with all stakeholders to ensure the success of agriculture in Grand Bahama. Mr. Christie says the Bahamas has had three international downgrades for the economy under the FNM administration. He contends that the FNM cannot manage tourism and he can prove it. According to Christie, he has a record of an internal memo from the current Minister of Tourism, Vincent Vanderpool Wallace, admitting a gigantic failure in Grand Bahamas' tourism economy. This is the Minister of Tourism who's talking. There is ample evidence of the complete collapse of proper marketing services management within my ministry over the last few years. He says, an executive, and I quote, was supposed to act as the executive director of the Grand Bahama Island Tourism Board, but he spends little time in Grand Bahama. The Minister of Tourism goes on to acknowledge, and I quote again, growing evidence of the management catastrophe that looms in Grand Bahama. The leader of the PLP says the FNM has failed this country and in more ways than one. They can't reduce your energy costs. They cannot secure your borders. They cannot do roadworks projects without going $100 million over budget. They can't help you keep a home. They can't keep BDC in Bahamian hands. But they can put on a show at election time now. Mr. Christie says if elected to serve for the next five years, his party has a plan to fix the tourism problem on this island. The PLP to boost tourism will reduce the hotel tax for existing hotels by 50% for five years. And for new properties, the tax reduction extends for 10 years. We are going to make a massive, sustained, consistent effort to revive the economy of Grand Bahama, to get your jobs, to look at you smiling, to bring smiles on your faces, to bring joy back to the community in Grand Bahama. Mr. Christie contends that the PLP will make history come May 8th. The party's final rally on Grand Bahama will be held on Saturday. Shashina Roll, ZNS News.